Japes. Oh wow, that Gmail is actually serious about the Zelda. Two, one, okay, is this game one? Yeah. Alright, so it's Zelda versus Ninja. Yep. It's Ashin. That's Ashin. That's he likes to play it. Because he's Ninja Asashin. Yeah, I guess so. Step up, Tom. Alright, so. Alright. So I think it's a really big issue, I guess. Uh, well, I mean, we're gonna be completely honest. Me, man, by far, is a good player. I just think, like, the character's a That's all you should cover. Oh, did that say Bop? Uh, yeah. Potato yeah. Step. Oh, Potato Step. Alright. Oh, hey, it's Jeff. I mean, random guest here. Hello everyone, Jax is here. Okay, that was a really bad time for Phantasm. You should have just waited just a slight second. Uh, Ninja needs to learn to Phantasm through the ledge a lot more, because Phantasming through the stage is very good when people don't know how to deal with it. Yeah. Uh, but once they do, then you're basically standing yourself to them on a silver platter. Oh yeah. Like, jabs cut through it. I mean, if I were better at, like, uh, timing, um, I could kill him with Meta Knight, but I always I usually take the safe option and go with like NATO. Yeah. But that's the safe option. If I was, if I really wanted to get risky, I could kill him every time. So why is G-Man going with Zelda? Uh, because he's... he felt like it. Yeah. How, how did that hit and uh, not the balloon? Anyway, it was wrong. I don't know. Nice kick to the groin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so box. What what is Ninja's strategy? Um, he likes to just try and get in and do some of his bread and butter combos and rack damage and then get like relatively raw forward up smashes if he can't combo them out down air. But he doesn't seem to have anything super like overarching strategy wise, but I'm also the wrong person to ask about that. Well, I mean usually when I was here I would know the pitch was never going to do I don't know. That's what happens when you go to UG. But anyways, uh, he can manage to take that stock while taking only like 20% damage. And then he's taking a lot more with this fresh stock. Yeah. I think Ninja probably just got a lot more brave to have zero. Um so Zelda is actually not a very bad character when she's not forced to approach. She has some pretty solid defensive options, like really solid. That was a really, that was almost a really bad man. It was. That was actually how he ended uh, game one against me, was he phantasmed off the ledge. Well, I, oh, okay, that was Speaking even worse. Speaking of uh, things like that, yeah. But, however, Ninja, just because he does know his red and butter combos pretty dang well, he tends to get like them all the way through whenever he lands the first hit. It's just a matter of getting the first hit. Mm. Anyways, what I was going to say before, Zelda's honestly not a very bad character when she's not forced to approach. She's not amazing, but definitely not terrible. However, if you can force an approach, say if she's behind or if you can outcamp her or something like that, I that's where she just completely she falls apart. Yeah. She, that and she can't quite deal with like the really fast rushdown characters with range like that night. Well then that's when you can just transform to Sheik, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've never really seen a good uh, Zelda that uses the tra transformation. 
That would be really interesting. I've ever seen a cheek that does that. Oh, wait. Is it? I'm not serious. Oh, yeah. Alright. That was. Uh, not three. That was not three? Did you just open this? No, I didn't. D is that. Did G Man just win twice? I don't know. I showed up later. That was the first game. G Man. That was game one. Alright. Then. This needs to be fixed. I think that was yours. Alright. There we go. That's that sheen, huh? Where'd it go? He's a rapper. Or quite famous rapper. I don't personally like the first two. Martha did that. Was this off a of random? No, there's no <laughs> way. <laughs> Well, astronomically small chances, though. But G-Man putting up a very solid wall with forward airs here. The lion. Oh my god. He almost brought it back to those walls against me in our uh, top four match. I was only able to get past him because I countered picked the perfect stage for game three. Ooh. But in reality, he was outplaying the crap out of me. But th those walls are crazy once he starts getting them out there. And he has just such good control over his character that he knows exactly how far he needs to approach a retreat to not only wall, but like he's pretty good at being like, okay, they're probably going to approach here. So Tipper goes here, slightly different place than normal. And it lands. He's really good at that. Yeah. His spacing seems to have gotten better since that bomb, right? It's pretty impressive considering the practice we've been getting. I think that's a running theme around these parts with Smash 4 coming out. Yeah. And with school starts. It, it's more yeah. school for me. For but... me, it's mostly school too. Okay. I get the feeling G Man is going to take stock 3, or at least attempt really hard with a spike. I have a feeling too. I have, I have a feeling that's what he wants right now. Yeah. Good thing he didn't go for it. No. I think he saw he didn't have it. Yeah. My ledge guarding against Marth was god tier. If you can ledge guard a good Marth, it's over. Like, uh, Marth does not get back to the stage super easily. I mean, no. he's not one of the worst at that by any means, but he, he definitely has to work it out for him. Especially because he has so little options in his recovery. His recovery is usually just straight up and slightly dag. Yep. You, it's, you go you know, straight to the ledge or you go straight to the stage. It's just these very final frames of counter. Come on, Ninja. Oh! This is not melee. Rolls do not, or ledge rolls do not last forever. That was wow. amazing. Repeatedly forward, forward airs him off to the point where he has no chance of recovery. Oh, wow. And with that, G-Man takes game two of this best of five set. So this is now tournament, or, what? You can change what it is, but you only get one ban. Oh, so things have changed a little. Slightly. The way we've been handling it for best of five sets is the winner bans a stage, and if they get the opportunity to ban a stage again, they can either keep it there, or they can move that one ban to a different stage. Uh, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you guys fix the, the whole uh, the sound being cut off by Twitch? Uh, we mostly just removed a lot of the songs that were offending. Almost oh. all of this is now... Oh my god. Uh, almost all of this is now Toho remixes, game remixes, uh, instrumental stuff. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yep. And other oh, than so... Yeah. Oh! Ho, ho. So Ninja with that comeback starting. What do you think Ninja's chances are now that Richard has decided he doesn't want to win? I don't know. G-Man is legitimately secondary in Ganon. Well, I guess third in, because he has two mains in Smash 4. So, I mean, Ganon's really bad here, but Falcon's not much bad. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh, oh my oh, god. Oh, oh. Alrighty. This is the kind of match we're in for, huh? Dude, if there are no Warlock or Falcon punches landed this match, I will be disappointed. 
He had Ninja, him dead. Ninja getting stage save. Oh, in friendlies earlier, that spike save. Oh, I hate those so You're much. You're mad. But that almost that was close. That almost worked. That was extremely close. G-Man needs to use more Warlock Punch. That is what this match needs. That that front kick is pretty brutal. Yeah. And it's even better in Smash 4. Like, it, it is the little Max Slayer for a reason. The little Max Slayer. Oh, it totally is. Up B with Robin is a little Max Slayer, too. Yeah, I that, believe it. Because it's so awesome. It feels so good. Ooh. Yes! I saw that coming as soon yep. as we left the stage. Now it's even. Ganon and Captain Falcon, both characters who have very poor options. But when against each other, it's a mostly fair field, I believe. I mean, I think that Captain Falcon has a plus one just because Ganon doesn't have anything even outside of Ganon. But... Well, if you're going to, like, do the whole trade-off for speed power, um, just up tilt would automatically give uh, Captain Falcon a, uh, an advantage because you can actually slightly use up tilt sometimes every yeah. once in a while with uh, Captain Falcon. As oh. opposed to what a read! That that was a raw forward smash. Oh my gosh! And he just kakad. <laughs> Way to go, hey, Vivid!